Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials, where the tutorials are simple. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can toggle on and off your flashlight in Unity. Stay tuned. Okay, now we're going to toggle. Let me go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I built this script called flashlight and we're going to put it on the actual flashlight first press right there flashlight test boom boom and we're going to go over here to the actual gaming portion of it of unity we're going to start it up okay now let's see if I press F light toggles off Press F again, it turns on. That's what we want to do. Okay, so let's go over here. And we're going to take the script off. Oh, I already have it on there. So let's remove that script. Okay. And basically, um, if you want just the script, if you don't really want to learn, even though this is what this channel is about, you can easily take the easy way out and check the description below for just the script. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and make our own script. If you're willing to learn, then I appreciate that. Let's create a new JavaScript. Let's type in toggle flashlight. Toggle light. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to double click it. And it should defaultly open up in mono development. If mono development doesn't open up defaultly, let me know in the comments below and I will help you out with that because I've actually had that problem and it's a very easy fix. Um, we'll probably do that on another tutorial. Okay, we got that's my flashlight, but this is the toggle flashlight. This is the toggle light, but that's the original script right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to recreate that script, okay? First thing we're going to need to do is, like it shows in this script, that we're going to variableize the check and the, and the flashlight. So let's go ahead and do that. Var chk2. And then we're calling it out, which is the double dots. Um, Bolean. B-O-O-L-E-A-N. Adjust my keyboard just a little bit. Move my cup. Okay, and then we're going to go equals false. Or you can have it set to true. You know, it's up to you. And we're going to semicolon it, which is, oh, darn it. F-A-L-S-E, semicolon. There we go. I don't know why it said false string when I hit enter. If that happens, you just change it to false. I don't know why that happened. Though. Okay, now we're going to have to variableize the light. So we can tell the light that basically we could choose what light we want to cut on and off when we hit our key. So we're going to go var l i g h t light light 1 or we can go f light. I figured f light though it'd be flight so I wouldn't want to do that. So we'll just go light 1 colon uh, capital l i g h t and then semicolon. Now, if you've worked with JavaScript before, you know that JavaScript is very sensitive on its lower and uppercase letters. So, be sure to make sure it's a capital L and lowercase i-g-h-t on light. Or else it won't work. It's not very sensitive that way. Let's go ahead and delete the function start. And in the update, we're going to want to put our, um, our key press, you know, to recognize that the key was pressed so what we're going to do is we're going to put if input key down if and bubble input ooh, excuse me my bad capital i n p u t input dot get key down right there Okay, and once we got that down, we're going to bubble it out again on the left side. Two bubbles, actually. And we're going to go key, code, darn it, key, 
key code and then we're going to put dot and then just pick your letter which in our case is going to be F and then we're going to you know I don't know what to call it but it's the other side of the bubbles we're gonna put four of them in there or yeah three there we go we got those done and we're going to put in our brackets and then enter between the brackets that way it you know we can type in between them and we're gonna put in what we want uh, how we're gonna to toggle the flashlight off so before we do that let's go to the, to the bottom and hit enter so we get a new line and we're gonna put a function f u n c t i function and whatever you want the function to be called in this case we're gonna call it light no we're gonna call it f l a s h flash l for flashlight okay function and then once we got that done we're going to put our bubbles and then our brackets okay and now we go back to the key down function or statement and we're going to put whatever our function was called which is f l a s h flash one which it did not capitalize for me there we go no ooh, I put one I meant to put L my bad okay and then we're gonna bubble ooh. oh cabin hit cap locks my bad <laughs> and then we're gonna put a semicolon behind it there we go and that way when you hit the F key it's actually going to call on whatever we have in our function and in this case this is pretty long so I'm just gonna copy and paste it but I am definitely gonna go over it okay which basically it says if we're just gonna change that to two because this is from my first script so let me go ahead and do that real quick and then I'll go over everything okay two two okay everything's equal to two that's good that's what we want and then we're gonna go change that to the light one LIG light one darn it I must have caps on I certainly do I told you I was pressing caps LIGHT one and we'll just copy that and we'll put it right there there we go okay now basically what this means is is that the check to equals false if it equals false then it's going to automatically equal true but it's going to disable the light and else if stands for basically what else would you like it to do if you hit that key again so if it does equal end up equaling true which it will when you do that it's going to turn checkbox to equal to false and it's also going to turn the light on and then this is just I for some reason I could not get this script to work without including this in there so I just had the checkbox equal to two I didn't even tell it to do anything with the light so really you could leave that blank if you wanted to like, like I said the script will be in the description so you can download it from there okay and then we're gonna go over here we're gonna hit file save we're gonna move it over here and now we're gonna go to our flashlight test and drag and drop our toggled light to the inspector okay now if all goes well it should be gravy but I'm seeing an error here expecting EOF found at 32 and 1 let's see 32 okay let's delete that and then we'll save it I should get rid of our error our error there we go okay there we go that's what I'm talking about okay and if you noticed over in the inspector that we got our checkbox too 
Now we got our light. So what we're going to want to do is take our, open our light, and we got a spotlight here. And we're going to drag it to the light. Light um, inspector box, game object box. I don't know what you call it. If you know what to call it, please let me know. Let's go ahead and test our game out. Now let's hit F. Doop, doop, doop. F. And it works. It works really good. And that is how you do it. Um, I will have tutorials coming up soon um, on triggers so you can turn it off if you wanted a light switch and you wanted the overhead light to turn on and off. Um, it's actually just it's just as easy. It's the same, even the same script with some slight differences. So, um, I just be forward to be looking to, for that soon. I know I've did a lot of Adobe Photoshop tutorials, so I'm trying to spread my wings and do more Unity tutorials um, as I go on. So, but anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope um, you learned something from this. Links is always in the description. You could always give me that like button. You can always hit the like button. You could always hit that dislike button. You could hit that subscription button if you'd like to see more Unity tutorials or any tutorials whatsoever. If you have suggestions, that's what the comment section is there for. And I do read all the comments. Every comment I get, I read it. You know, I actually pride myself in the fact that y'all are commenting on my videos, even if it's to tell me I suck. The fact is, you watched the video, you thought it sucked, and that's your legitimate response. But, eh, it's, it's all gravy, I guess. And uh, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video.